Today, I am going to talk about Derek Muller's video on his Veritasium channel about how magnetism is caused by special relativity. I have other videos about this subject, and my main one is from an electrical engineering point of view, and it's more than an hour long, but I'm going to just focus on one thing about his video that if you watch it very carefully and think about it, something looks totally wrong, and I'm going to explain what he left out and why I think he left it out and how to make sense of this mistake you might see in his video. So first you might want to look at his video, so I have it linked in the description below and I have it up here, and you can go ahead and watch that and come back to the timestamp right there. And once you've watched that video, we can get on with it. So here's the problem. He says that in his wire he has his electrons in the wire, and then there are positive charges basically one positive charge for each free electron. And he shows how when these electrons are moving and when his positively charged cat is moving with those electrons, that positively charged cat sees the positive charges closer together and so is repelled by those positive charges. Imagine for simplicity that the cat is moving in the same direction as the electrons with the same velocity. Well now, in my frame of reference, the wire is still neutral and so there should be no force on the cat. But consider the same situation in her frame of reference. In the cat's frame of reference, the positive charges in the wire are moving, so according to special relativity, their separation will be ever so slightly contracted. There's a higher density of positive charges in the wire, so it's no longer neutral, it's positively charged. Which means that the positively charged cat will feel a repulsive electric force from the wire. But then if you stop and think about it, Earlier he says, well, we watch these electrons moving and we don't see a charge. And even if there were a current in the wire, the electrons would just be drifting in one direction, but the density of positive and negative charges would still be the same, and so the wire would be neutral, so no force on the kitty. But wait a minute. If I'm standing still and those electrons are moving, due to special relativity, shouldn't they be closer together and shouldn't I now see a negative charge in that wire? Yes, you should. So why doesn't he say anything about that? Well, he's making a short video for general consumption, and he doesn't want to try to explain too much, so he's hand-waving this off and hoping you don't notice. At least that's what I think he's doing. So those electrons will be closer together, and you should see a net negative charge in that wire. Why don't you? Well, because of something that's happening that he... I just don't think he wants to go into trying to explain. What he's leaving out is that when these electrons are moving one way, it appears that the positive charges are moving in the opposite direction at the same speed. Let me show how that works. I like my analogy of playing golf. So here is the green, and there's a hole that you want to put your golf ball into. So one day you go, you put your golf ball into the hole and think nothing of it. But the next day you come out and the groundskeeper has moved the hole over to the other side. They do that regularly to keep the green in good shape. So you come by and you put out and think nothing of it. You think, oh, they moved the hole. Did they move the hole? Of course not. The groundskeeper came out and took a plug of grass and dirt from here and moved it to where the hole used to be over there. The hole did not move. The grass and dirt moved. But it looks like the hole moved. In the wire, we have the same exact phenomenon. Because what are these positive charges? It's a place where there could be an electron, but because of the nature of metallic bonds, those electrons have pulled out and separated and now are free to move around. And so for every one of these electrons that's free to move, we have a positive charge, which looks like a hole in the matrix. In fact, physicists and electrical engineers call them holes. And so as these electrons are moving, essentially from hole to hole, it looks like the holes are moving in the opposite direction. And this apparent motion is affected by special relativity. So as you see the electrons go this way, you see the holes moving the opposite direction. The electrons are length contracted together. The holes are length contracted together. So yes, you should see a net negative charge because of these moving electrons. But there is a net positive charge from special relativity countering that. And so in the end, you don't see a net charge in the wire. So that's what Derek is leaving out, and if you examine too closely, you might get confused by it and say, wait a second, something's not right. 
Once again, I think he's leaving that out just to simplify his video because he doesn't want to explain too many concepts at once. So he hand waves it off in hopes that you won't notice, but some people like me are going to notice. And so that's the explanation. So what he doesn't show you is that when you are standing still and the electrons are moving, the positive charges appear to be moving in the opposite direction. Both are length contracted, so we still see no net charge in the wire. So that is what you might be confused about if you look too deeply at Derek's video. There is the explanation about how it works and why I think he left that out. If you found this video useful and informative, please give me a thumbs up down below. It really helps the channel. And subscribe because that not only informs you when I put new videos up, but it really helps the channel also. And a big thank you to my patrons at Patreon. I could not make these videos without your support. If you want to help me put these videos online and keep real vocational education free at vocademy.net, you can go to Patreon slash join slash vocademy and pledge your support. And again, a big thank you to my patrons who make this possible, and a big thank you to everyone for watching.